Hi, I'm Francesca Short and my university number is 66524653. My contemporary monologue is from Every Brilliant Thing by Duncan Macmillan. I forgot about the list until her second attempt, just over 10 years later. Dad came in halfway through chemistry, the same trap or feeling, fight or flight, the same wordless drive to the hospital. As a teenager I handled it less well. I wore my heart on my sleeve. The night she came home from the hospital she sat at the kitchen table and said if it wasn't for the ham and pineapple pizza lining her stomach from the night before she'd be dead. And I said you took three weeks worth of antidepressants, a packet of aspirin and half a tub of antihistamines. You're probably healthier than I am. If you're going to kill yourself, go and jump off a bridge. <laughs> Rather than storming off, I just sat there, shoveling food into my mouth. I had spent ages on this meal and I was furious that she was sat there wishing she was dead and letting it go cold. There was um There was a moment of absolutely deafening silence and then she started to laugh <laughs> it was such a, it was such a genuine laugh that after a while I couldn't help but join in <laughs> I couldn't sleep that night. I started to clear out my room, uh, put the stuff I wanted to keep into one pile and the stuff I wanted to throw away into another. And then um, I realised I was shaking. Have you ever had that? <laughs> when you notice that you're shaking and your breathing gets deeper and your heart beats faster and you're surrounded by your stuff and bin bags and you realise that I'm upset. I must be really upset. My classical monologue is Viola from Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. <coughs> I left no ring with her. <laughs> what means this lady? <laughs> Fortune forbid my outside. That my outside hath not charmed her. <laughs> she did make good view of me. <laughs> Indeed, so much that she only thought her eyes had lost her tongue, for she did speak in starts. Distractedly. She loves me. <laughs> sure. The cunning of her passion invites me with this churlish messenger. None of my lord's ring, for he sent her none. I am the man. <laughs> if it be so, as, as tis. Poor lady, she better love a dream. 
disguise. I see thou art a wickedness where the pregnant enemy does much. How easy is it for the proper false in women's waxen hearts to set their forms? Alas. Our frailty is the cause, not we, for such we are made of, such we be. How will this phage? My master loves her dearly, and I, poor monster, <laughs> fond on him, and she mistaken seems to dote on me. <laughs> what will become of this? <laughs> As I am man, I am desperate for my master's love. As I am woman, now, alas, the day. Oh, what frivolous sighs shall poor Olivia breathe. Time. <laughs> Thou must untangle this, not I. It's far too hard of a knot for me to untie. <laughs> 